Greetings from Gibras Technologies. In this video, we are going to see a demo of Map My Sheet add-on. Visualizing data on a Google Map helps people to understand, manage, and control their data very easily. Map My Sheet helps people to present the data from Google Sheets onto Google Map with simple three-step approach. Step 1. Prepare the Google Sheet. Step 2. Configure Map My Sheet. Step 3. View or publish the map. So let us see how to go about it. I have a simple data set here. It's a list of salesmen as part of a sales team and their address and their target. I want to present this information onto Google Map. So to do this, I have now prepared the data. So next step is configure map my sheet. Let me launch map my sheet. Click on create map. And I will give a name to this. I am going to choose this tab sales team here. Map type, I will leave it to road map. Zoom, I will leave it at that. I have very less data, so I am not going for clustering. Leave this here. So let's go into the next step. So here, we need to set up the location. So the, for location information, I have city, state and country. So this is the address type, because I don't have geo coordinates like latitude, longitude and all. So let me choose those fields, city, state and country will form the address. So now map my sheet to work on Google map, it requires to generate latitude and longitude. Once it is generated, we would want to preserve that in one of the columns in the Google sheet so that we don't need to regenerate every time we need to view the map. So for that, let's go ahead and create those columns. So I created a latitude column and I'm creating a longitude column. In fact, you can map it to some other fields also if you feel. But the simple way to do is to go click this so that it creates those two fields here. Right. So let's move on to the next section. Filter. Once the map is shown, do you want to see any filters there? So let's pick up a simple filter. Let's say city as the filter and I want the filter to be shown as a drop down. Next. This is the marker. Like what is the color of the marker and what is the animation around the marker and all that. Let's say city Miami. And I want that marker to be coming as green and bouncy. Everything else by default comes in red marker. Right? So we'll leave it as simple. And I want to show a label as the name of the person. The label will appear in the map. Next is I can also set up an information window of what to be shown when the user hover over the uh, particular icon or click on a particular icon. So by default it picks up all this information and shows that. So let us do a simple customization. I want the field name to be shown in a little different color and different font. I will choose a font which is little different. Let us say I say I will take Helvetica and I will make it as big size. Okay, so the preview shows that how it will be appearing. Once I am done with that, let me click OK. So I am done with the setup now. So now it is asking that there are five records. And none of the records have geo coordinates, that is latitude and longitude setup. So it is asking, do you want to generate it now? 
yes i want to generate yeah it has generated all so now you can see that you have latitude and longitude that has been generated here and the map is fully set up you can click the, the view map and see the map Yes, as we have configured, all these markers are appearing in red and only the Miami city is showing as uh, green and bouncing. The filter we have chosen city, so it, it just shows this. So based on this, we can filter it and then the, the markers will appear based on what we are choosing here. Let's go back and see what we have configured. So we have configured one map here and that map can be viewed from here. Then uh, you can continuously uh, create other maps using the same data or different tab data here. Once the map is ready, we can always go and publish it so that the end users can see this without having access to Google Sheet or without having to look at map my sheet uh, add on. So once we publish the map, we can choose to send it as an email or take a link to that and then view it from there. So let's go ahead and publish the map. Okay, so the map is now published. So we have gotten a link here. So we take that link, put that link and review that. Basically, you can send this link to your target audience or you can embed this link into any websites that you have. Uh, or you can even um, simply email that uh, to, to people to look at and see. So it is that simple to create a map based on the data that you have in Google Sheet and present that on Google Map. Google Map also have a lot more features. Please go ahead and explore all those things and also explore in terms of uh, the the location which could be address or geo coordinate for example if you already have latitude and longitude you can simply go to geo coordinates and choose latitude and longitude you don't need to generate uh, latitude and longitude filters you can have uh, several types of filters using the fields that you have here you can keep adding as many as filters here markers this helps you to uh, customize what type of marker that you want to see and how it should be uh, appearing there with uh, different kind of animations that is available. Then info window, info window shows that what needs to be appearing in the, in the map when you hover or click on the icons. Let's have a look at that. So when I click on this, it appears thus. So we have made some changes to the, the title only and everything else shows that. So for example, if you want to uh, want to remove maybe the, the country information, you can just remove this and save it. If you go here, now you are not seeing the country information here. Likewise, you can completely customize what appears in the info window. Also, if you are looking for custom markers, in addition to the default markers that has been put, you can go and configure the name and link to the uh, to the image that you want it to be appearing. For example, if you want to make a vehicle appear in the Google Map, or you want to make um, make a make a warehouse image or building image to appear in the in the map, you you have a complete freedom to go and configure as many as custom markers here 
and then uh, configure that inside the inside the marker section so keep exploring and see how it helps you and your business thank you very much mm -hmm.